Now, I just want to do a video here on this 718 Cayman Club Sports Grand Prix. Now, one of the things I'm just going to advise straight away is keep in mind, this is a player versus player event. So, like, the majority of players are not going to come away with this car just because of the nature of the event. Uh, yeah, it is just a case to say, like, in my bracket, I'm in a tier 3 group. So, that means that three people in my group are going to get keys. It would be cool if I was one of them, but at the same time, that means there's 17 people in my group are not going to get a key. And yeah, I think it's just very important that players generally don't spend tokens on this unless they're in a position where they think they'll probably come away from the key. So you can take a look at the actual group you're in with the small statistics icon here up in the top right hand corner. And it'll show you uh, the kind of clubs and players that you're inside with. And you can get a kind of feel for that immediately as to if you're inside there with a lot of like known players who would spend a lot of tokens on events. Like you may see people from Discord or from other events where they might be like fairly high up. Uh, yeah, like you'll know straight away pretty much if you're in with a chance at a key or not. Like I said... There's three keys to be had in this group. And just looking at the times people have placed, like 119 on this course is not a bad time in the slightest. So there's some decent enough competition here. Now the one thing is I want to get this car and I want to get it at around the three stars-ish mark. So like in my opinion, it's always kind of better off to just start off with a fairly decent showing at the early stages and yeah it sounds kind of odd but that might actually deter other players from spending tokens and stuff later on so i think it's better off to just like kind of lay down tokens at the start if you are aiming to win this car now this might sound slightly harsh but if you normally say do events like the weekly competition the elite competition that's in now and say car hunt riot events and if you normally place in like kind of maybe 25% top 50% and below it might be an idea to just yeah kind of think about this event like it's unlikely that um that sort of driving will win a key now you could be inside in a group where you have people who are all in that same uh skill level but there is a chance that you might have a couple of players who either throw a lot of money at this or who yeah are actually after sandbagging their qualification time and will take the keys out of those groups so i would just say be very kind of um careful with spending on this race also a in the carrera gt special event there is one of the stages where a maxed out version of this car is available to try out and realistically it's only okay it's definitely no 1896 like we had in the last grand prix this car is just another porsche one of 10 that are now in the game and i definitely wouldn't be exactly emptying out all of your tokens into this one if yeah you're not guaranteed the key and also like i said it's not amazing like it's a cool car it's nice looking with the decal on it where it looks kind of beaten up a bit but yeah at the same time i definitely wouldn't advise people go crazy for this one especially not if you aren't in a kind of good position to begin with with unlocking this car now there's five rounds to be done in this four points and you'll really need to place a time in all of those five rounds if you want any chance of this at all if you skip out on one of the rounds like you effectively cost yourself upwards of 50 points in that day where you miss it so like it would be mathematically near impossible to place on the top if you miss one of the days like you take your maximum potential from 250 down to 200 which means that another player can get like 40 on each of the five days and he will still actually like do as well as you so yeah like you cannot skip a day in this but yeah like i said do just keep in mind that this car is a c-class car and it is a good c-class car but at the same time like don't empty your entire token reserves for a c-class car in my opinion even if you are going to potentially unlock this one like if you've got the air and air hosaria yeah you've kind of already got an amazing c-class car right there and like the porsche is nice but 
in stage two here of the Porsche Carrera GT event, you actually get to uh, play with a max out version of this car. So yeah, like there's a free try there of the maxed version of the car. Like come to this event, take a look at it and see kind of if it's something that you're going to spend cash on. Like again, it's 3,700 rating, which is really, really impressive. But at the same time, you have to think that like, it is a C-class car. But now there's like a good few different ways of getting the blueprints for it. So you got those packs every four hours, you have packs directly in the store, and there's also relay packs, which have um, guaranteed blueprints inside in those. And they're, they're not too bad if you want some additional credits and stuff and to take away the kind of gamble uh, aspect from it. So they cost the same as a 10 pack of blueprints. So like for that first one, given the fact that you've got 10% drop rate, the chances are like these will probably turn out at or around the same as the actual just opening 10 pack. I would probably not go with relay packs just for this one because they don't seem like an exactly amazing deal right up front. And the fact that obviously in those relay packs you have zero chance at getting the um, jackpot 15 blueprints. Now admittedly, the chance of actually getting that jackpot 15 blueprints is pretty slim. I wouldn't ever really be kind of relying on that being the thing you're going for, but say, yeah, I'm gonna go with these packs because like I said, 10% drop rate, 10 packs for 750 tokens, same amount. The only difference being the fact that, yeah, it is the gamble element rather than the guaranteed of blueprints, but trying to throw some tokens down on this and actually star up that car once or twice, depending on how I get on with the actual drops of these. If I get within three blueprints, I will probably not actually go for another uh, 10 pack, given the fact that I have the other ones incoming. Um, yeah, from the uh, club rewards, like I mentioned. Yeah, 17 out of 25, that's not too bad. And again, like with these packs, you do also get the bonus things of two Fiori, which I would not get if I was to do the uh, relay uh, packs for these. At the same time, again, I mentioned this in the last pack on packing, uh, pack opening video, but yeah, it's just a case of like, oh, cool, Vanda Electrics. There's a lot more new blueprints that have been added into these now, so. It is not the worst thing in the world to actually have some packs that are worthwhile kind of, uh, yeah, opening up just because of the all the newer kind of cars that are cycling in through these. This should definitely, yeah, this has to be at least one star up for that. I'm not sure if that 2400 rating is after one star. Ooh, that's some bad luck right there. Ah, there's a one upgrade. And three into the next star. Oh yeah, so 2,461 is the rating in for a two star version of the Cayman. And like, <laughs> I do love the kind of beat up rally look to it. It is kind of a cool decal. Unlocked upgrades to stage zero. Mm, that looks weird. But um, yeah, maybe it might be, hmm. I'm not exactly sure why it says that at the end there. But yeah, like it is a, a quite a cool looking car. It's just a case of in performance. It's meh. <laughs> okay, so for the third star, then it's 32 blueprints. So I would need 28. So I'm going to need to throw down some more tokens on that anyway to get it in any way close to unlocking because I have the tree coming in from the club. But yeah, that's still gonna leave me some 20 plus short. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show on some more tokens and nudge that one closer to the third star. And if it goes over, then fine, I will add the extra blueprints on. But at the same time, it is just a case of, like I said, I wanna start off this on stage one with a really strong kind of um, showing to kind of like slightly deter other people who might be inside in the group. Oh. Drop rate though has been kind of painful. <laughs> Three from a 10 pack is bad when it's the guaranteed. That guarantee um, blueprint is like not factored into that 10% whatsoever. So it should be a case of like always getting effectively three in the first packs and then the three guaranteed. Should. <laughs> 
that is the gambling element of this game like showing its fairly nasty face 10 there of 13 so nearly halfway there <laughs> but like just to give you an idea as well as to how many actual tokens are kind of required for uh, starring up this car and especially like I said if you were in a position oh nice if you're in a position where you effectively have a strong chance not to get this car unlocked yeah like this could be an awful lot of tokens that are wasted because you likely won't have a chance at getting a key for this one for some time after this event is over ah cool zero uno that's actually i have mine maxed out i've yet to click star it up but <laughs> yeah hey more fury and more came in so that's 10 off of the next star just thinking 10 one, two, three so i need four things or else to wait up for those ones from the club oof or a jackpot that'd work <laughs> uh, never hope for a 15 buy in these packs unless it's like something you really don't want <laughs> then, then it's likely that you get ah oh, cool awesome advantage it is nice still to get ah it is still nice to be able to get like uh yeah some cards for actual other really really good cars as well in these packs so like yeah weirdly enough as much as that's the featured item in these getting three for the austin martin vantage is really not a bad thing because that's three blueprints for a kind of mid to high end uh, b class car from packs that should be for a c class car so i think i needed seven possibly actually since i uh more vantage there's nearly more vantage in these than there is club sports uh yeah so that's four off huh. <laughs> now do i spend the tokens <laughs> Or do I wait? Because I'm not actually sure as to the next star up level for that. I can check the internet. So, checking. The fourth star for this involves 36 blueprints. And I'm just thinking, over the next 11 days and the practice stages, would it be possible to actually get those blueprints from packs and such? And it, there is a slight chance of being able to do that. So, a four star version would be cooler than a three star. But yeah, I'm going to uh, pop this though and get that third star unlocked anyway, for sure. And maybe get the car kind of rolling a bit of the way towards the next star as well. As well as picking up a few other cool enough things. Like uh, those Vanda blueprints are really, really nice if you can get my hands on them. Or just absolutely nothing <laughs> except for the guaranteed tree. Oh, that's incredibly low drop rate on these ones. But... Uh, yeah 2700 rating like it's not too bad and as the event rolls forward between uh different rewards and stuff like that i'll be picking up blueprints towards the fourth star it is 36 more that are required though for the next ones but yeah like yeah so the unlocked upgrades to stage zero that is just a case of the um because of the key not being there in my actual garage yet so the car is still technically not unlocked since i will need the key to be able to drive it now you do just get the three attempts as here behind me on each day if you do mess up those three attempts by the way you do get the chance to yeah get more attempts or you do normally in grand prix uh, which is done with tokens just keep in mind those tokens escalate as they go so um yeah the first one i think was 50 in the last grand prix and then they start to scale up fairly fast so i would just do those really if you've had a very bad run or like say even to be careful like before you start the race in this so once i got this fully tuned up i'm gonna actually quit out of the game and then come back into it again because like the game has gotten fairly unstable recently and yeah like you really don't want to be losing a chance in this car like it is just too kind of much of a risk to actually do it especially when you think of the fact that like if you're gonna have to spend an extra 50 tokens to have an extra attempt like that's effectively one pack of blueprints that you have 
uh, discarded just because of like say a game crash or something silly now like I said I'm gonna bring the car all the way up in tuning this is not one where I gotta ration out these because yeah I literally just want to start off nice and strong in this Grand Prix and yeah throw the gauntlet down as they say <laughs> But at the same time, it's like my logic to this is if I'm going to have this car, I want to have this car three stars. If I end up not winning it at the same time, it's like, oof, that's about 6,000 tokens that are thrown into this, which it would be bad. But at the same time, it's not going to be like the end of my garage. But at the same time, like if you only have 6,000 tokens, I definitely wouldn't advise chasing this one down. Like that is quite costly for what will be again a mediocre car. Now. I'm gonna restart my game though and get this attempt on. I definitely advise restarting the game before throwing away one of your potential uh, three attempts in this, especially given how ropey the performance of the game has been recently. And yeah, like just restart the game before trying anything with a limited time, uh, really. Oh, customizable. Can I get rid of the decal? Hey, I can. Sweet. <laughs> It's mostly my version of the car, except for the fact that it needs to do 15 races in multiplayer, which I can't do because I can't take this car out into anything other than the uh, uh, Grand Prix mode. But yeah, you can actually customize that then once you have it uh, starred up a bit, which, ah, it's cool enough looking. Ah, Yeah, now it looks like a proper Porsche. It doesn't have that weird rusted decal all over it. Main thing with this is just got to be don't choke. Just don't choke. Don't choke. <laughs> time to choke <laughs> but now it's like you have to just kind of try and not panic as much as possible but like obviously the performance and this especially with that ghost has been really really horrific even in the practice stages you can see just how bad it is at the start of the race especially like osaka isn't the best course anyway for performance but yeah i just noticed one or two of my practice runs kind of like froze up a few times which i'm taking a slightly easier um less um complex route oh my star <laughs> uh, that person is the 124 time they're actually the one that is in uh, 15 position since i haven't placed any time at all i'm trying to avoid drifting here as much as possible i <laughs> a small bit but yeah drift through all the nitro bottles here just to fill up the thing and then shockwave down the left hand side keep some nitro for going across a bit of footpath here at the end of the straight just a tiny tap of it should do and oh yeah the handling is a whole lot better in the three star version of this again like you really don't want to drift this car too much if you can avoid it just like especially on some of these longer straights it can be kind of like instinct to just drift a small bit but just not try and keep the car as straight as possible and do not drift like here especially just watching the speedo for like 180 ish 190 miles an hour you can drift all around this corner but you'll actually do very very um like a lot of damage to your time more so than just driving it uh straight on in my opinion drift Yay. Oh, at least it didn't knock me out of the shock wave oh there we go and yeah I'm here <laughs> and I'm sure it has nothing to do with that car rank at 2700 but still uh, yeah that's um, gonna get me some points this round at least anyway <laughs> and like I said you really can't be skipping out on any of these rounds and this one ends at 14 hours I'll try and put up my videos for the next stages of this somewhat faster I was just quite um, poorly the last couple of days shall we say but yeah that's a definitely a decent enough spot for um day one if it can start off strong enough like that and like i said like with this it is just a case of you kind of want to place yourself in a decent position from the get-go and not maybe like give the um false hope to other people so like here i've obviously started the car up twice and like realistically i am looking to kind of get this to four stars so if other people were to kind of pump some tokens into this and bring up to two stars uh yeah i could quite easily just chuck down some more tokens on that and kind of like yeah stomp the foot again and just be like no stop 
because yeah there is some mind games to this since it's obviously like players versus player it's not just players versus the clock now and just for anyone who hasn't looked it up or so and seen the other stages so i have the rundown here on the featured tracks so today we have the osaka one tomorrow and the day after it's shanghai's reach for the sky stage the one with that cool um jump to barrel roll and with the s corner in it really like that track um rome's pantheon split i could take it or leave it to be honest it's not too bad it's a long course um osaka's rat race in for stage four and in the tunnel jam in san fran as the finale for this one so if any of those tracks are ones that give you problems right now it might not be the worst of ideas to take say the uh, porsche came in 718 the you know non-event car and just take that into quick races and give them a run in that because it's more or less the same handling of car and yeah you can get yourself some practice in on those stages that are be coming up in the next uh, 10 or 11 days i will be uh chucking up videos as well over the next couple of days on these as well as a car hunt riot video that i need to chuck up actually it just needs to be edited because i have that one done already and uh yeah sorry about the uh time delay i was rather sick in the last few days and about the technical issues because i had like really bad frame rate on my camera as somebody pointed out and yeah hopefully sorted out now nice and easy that was just a settings issue on top of the fact that i'm using a software green screen but uh yeah i have a physical green screen on the way seeing as yeah i may as well and it can take out that one layer of software causing issues there as well but if this is one of the first videos you've watched, uh, yeah, there's a sub button up there over my head. Give that a click. I do all the events in Asphalt as well as some indie games over at that side and some other content on my channel here. It's probably something from Asphalt. But uh, yeah, guys, please do feel free to uh, click on the sub button. Uh, give a like, leave a comment down below. Say how you're getting on. If you've got put into an awful group, maybe one with a wheel who just spent about 6,000 tokens on the uh, car. So that would suck.